Good morning, YouTube. It is like 5.30 in the morning and I'm getting ready to go do my cardio. So as you see, I got my little morning concoction mixed up. I'm gonna drink this. Attempt to wake up, cause I am still just like, oof. I'm one of those people when I'm really tired, you can see it in my eyes. Can you see it? Can you see it? <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna go wake up, 40 minutes of cardio. I've been trying to do is split up my lifting and my cardio, cause I feel like if I go in at like 1 or 2 p.m. after all my work's done, and then I try to get my, my 40 minutes in, then I try to lift, it kinda takes away from my lifting, because I'm just there for over two hours, so. Splitting the two up, start my day off with the cardio, makes me feel 100 times better, and I think really just helps me overall get things done, be more productive, you know, that old chestnut. <laughs> Drink this, and it is gym time. If you guys are thinking about moving into Ohio, don't. It is far too cold here. I always forget that it gets cold here, and then it gets cold here, and then I'm just cold, and I remember that it gets cold here. <laughs> I'm an idiot. All right, so yeah, PSA, Ohio gets cold, don't do it. And if you do, don't wear shorts. <laughs> Cardio is a wrap, guys. 40 minutes, I feel great. Let me tell you, do your cardio first thing in the morning. It'll wake you up, make your entire day better. Like, I'm covered in sweat underneath this hoodie. Yeah, I did it all. All my cardio in this hoodie, but I feel amazing, and it's still dark out. This camera, though, right? You gotta tell me if you think it looks different. I went in, did a total setting, like, tweak in it, and it's supposed to make it look better. So if you think it looks better, comment below. But it's still dark out. See? Moon's up there, can you see that moon? Yep. So yeah, it's like 7 a.m. right now. It's about to be light time. Light time, about to be, it's about to be light out. And I gotta go to Kroger real quick because I'm shipping some stuff out today and I need some bubble wrap and stuff. Um, I'm doing full upgrades on a lot of my equipment to make this channel better, the quality better, to keep everything going. So I'm not gonna explain it all to you right now in this parking lot. Leah, I'll show you when I get home. So heading to Kroger now, but check it out. We're at the gym so early. Look behind me, one car, two cars. Two cars in the parking lot and one of them is the girl that works here. Shout out Mindy, you rock. So yeah, like, gotta put your priorities first. If you wanna lose Lose weight, if you want to get healthy, and you're serious about getting your cardio and stuff done, do it first thing in the morning. I'm telling you, a biggest one of the biggest changes in my life was doing waking up earlier and doing stuff first. Find your most important stuff, write down a list, write number at one to ten. Most important all the way down to least important. Do that most important stuff first. First thing when you wake up, I'm telling you, it'll change your life. All right, Kroger. We're here, guys. We are here. That's another cool thing too about coming here this early. You look, there's like no one in this parking lot. Ooh, there's like no one in this parking lot. And a lot of times what you have is if I come here at like, let's say 10 a.m., 11 a.m., all the day walkers are in here. And a day walker, <laughs> that's a word I used to describe. Nothing against the elderly, but it's the elderly people that are just like, they just like flock here early and they're just pushing carts slow, clogging the aisles, really hard to get in and get out. So another perfect time. That's why you do stuff early because other people aren't doing this stuff. So. Pro tip. All right guys, first thing we came here for is the bubble wrap. I'm shipping some lenses, right? And they're glass, so they gotta be secured. Kroger has decent deals on shipping stuff, so this should do me for bubble wrap, not too bad. 16 inch by seven foot, 40 centimeter by two meter. Oh, I'm looking for 25 centimeter by two. I'm just kidding, it doesn't even matter. And then they got all your shipping supplies here, so people are weird about shipping stuff. I'm telling you, just come here, you literally buy your boxes. Buy your bubble mailers. That easy, guys. Buy all your stuff, get it done. You know what? I, I must not be a very strong guy because I show up here and I just can't leave this section alone. Just the longing for the halo top. And it's not even that bad, 280 calories, but you know, I every if, if not having it now lets me have it at another time as a treat, right? So, because that strawberry looks so good. Look at you. <laughs> uh, organic section. Oh, if you guys have never had this, now, these protein cereals by Cashy are great. I don't want to call them protein cereals, but they're like leaner, but they got more protein in them. 11 grams of protein, 9 grams of fiber. These are so good. The only downside is, though, it's hard to eat just one bowl. If you're anything like me, you have four bowls of it, 200 grams of carbs later, you feel like a whale. Defeated the purpose of the healthy cereal. But I do think, though, guys, you know what? I did that taste test the other night. Where is that kombucha that I had? I'm kind of wanting another one. Ginger Aid, harmless coconut water. I would hate to see the harmful coconut water. Synergy, is this what I had? No, or is this what I had? Raspberry Chia, I think so. Hmm, let's do 
another one of these guys. $3.19 though. I don't know about all that, but we'll take it. I did feel pretty good after having that. It's the almond butter aisle, guys. If you don't look at it, it doesn't exist. If you don't look at it, it doesn't exist. <laughs> all right, guys, we picked up some snack packs too. In case I get a little hungry, five calories a piece, I can uh, eat those, fill my stomach up, not get a lot of, you know, a lot of calories out of it. And then I'm picking up this too to eat today. 99% fat-free turkey breast, literally pure protein right here. If you season it right, it still tastes good. So make some burgers, fry it up, throw it in with some veggies, whatever. What else do I need here? I hate coming to the store for just one thing. So there's gotta be something else here I need. Let's see if I can't find something. Oh, here's what we're gonna do. Man, these are such a good deal too. These Oikos, 10 for $10 my favorite Greek yogurt brand here. I've been making smoothies lately just because I don't feel like I have the time to really slow down and make a meal sometimes. So protein with some of these blended up with some frozen fruit. We'll do a couple vanilla and then let me see banana. Ew. Peach not a fan. They're out of the salted caramel. Go freaking figure. Uh, we'll do a couple strawberry. Why not? And then maybe one more vanilla. I know I've showed you guys this in the past. If you watched my smoothie video, you've seen it already, but no fat, 14 grams of carbs, six of that being fiber. So really we're getting about eight grams of net carbs and 15 grams of protein and good flavor. You blend this into a shake, good stuff guys, good stuff. Screenshot this if you want, if you even care. If not, don't screenshot it, you don't have to. I'm just, it's, it's a recommendation, not a requirement guys. Another cool thing I'm getting here too guys, some Parmesan cheese. Now check this out, the macros, 1.5 grams of fat, two grams of protein per serving, 45 servings, so you gotta use it a little sparingly, but a dash of this on some eggs and on certain foods, oh, so good. And we're also gonna try, I've never had this one before, Italian style five cheese blend. So macros are actually a little better than five grams of fat and only one gram of protein. So not too shabby. I'm gonna try these on my eggs later. And we wouldn't be complete without a white monster. Definitely gonna get this. I think they're two for four. Yep, we'll get a couple. We leave one waiting in the wings, right? If you haven't had these guys, try them. Zero calories, really good. If you're not into artificial sweeteners, you might not like it, but I enjoy them. Keeps me on my diet, gives me a little treat. It is my camera. You like that? The pictures? Uh, YouTube videos. Yeah. Three, one, nine. Basically, like, um, I do vlogs, which what that is, is I take this camera with me and I can, like, you know, record what I'm doing. Right? So I'll be like, what's up guys? I'm in Kroger right now. We're checking out. Look at this. She's helping me out. Say hi. Yeah. See? And then I'll do that at places and yeah. I just take it with me. Like they watched me order all this stuff. They know what I'm getting. So yeah, pretty cool. Awesome. Thank you. We good. All right, guys. I'm not even gonna lie. Every time I walk out of here, I turn to the right. And if I'm wearing a short sleeve shirt, you see my reflection there? I hit it with a flex, but I have a camera so I can. But that's that's an honest to God body bodybuilding thing that happens right there. <laughs> you gotta you gotta constantly check to make sure the gains are still present. There she is. Dirty. Dirty. Yes, yes. Love these things, guys. Love them. So sitting here in my office, I just wrapped up some client plans. Actually, I'm pretty thankful to, I don't wanna say thankful cause you always wanna be busy, but pretty happy today that uh, after my stress-free day yesterday, I didn't have too many client things I had to do this morning. So that's nice. Um, for those of you that don't know what I do, right? My income, I do this obviously full time and YouTube pays me a little bit, not enough for me to like just do YouTube. So I have other sources of revenue, obviously. My apparel brand I sell and I make a little bit of money off t-shirts and hats and stuff. Help Helps me out a ton when you guys support me, so thank you for that. The bulk of my income, though, comes from me training people through online coaching programs, through meal plans, and through training plans. The way this works is like, let's say I have a client sign up, right, on RemingtonJamesFitness.com, that's my website. I offer a couple different programs. I have like 30-day challenges. I have just standalone meal plans. I have 12-week coaching plans where we coach through an entire 12 weeks, and you get a meal plan, a training plan. We switch things up, keep things moving. The way that I do it is like, you sign up, and you get sent over a big, extensive questionnaire. There's a list of food preferences. You you go in, you pick foods you like, you pick foods you dislike, you give me your stats, your age, weight, height, activity levels, how many days a week you're training, your day job. I go through a big list of factors and I break down a specific set of macros for you. And then choosing the foods that you selected that you like, I go in and I make a very specific meal plan. So you're not stuck with anything you don't like. It's a really easy way to diet. And then there's different variables. You're not stuck eating the same thing every single day. And uh, in turn though, for me to add this level of customization for every client that I work with, no client gets the same meal plan. That's just not how it works. In order for me to have that level of customization with my programs, it requires more time, right? So a lot of my mornings are spent grinding these plans out for people. And let me just give you a look at kind of how I do things. All right, there we go. I went and crossed out some names. That way no one's privacy is being unhinged upon. But I go through and I handwrite. Now don't mind, 
Don't mind my handwriting. It looks like a chicken walked across this with ink on its talons. <laughs> but basically I go through and I do handwritten calculations for everything, crunch the math and get everybody's plan uniquely tailored to them. So it does require time. I obviously convert all this to digital format. So you get it, you know, via digital delivery and you know, you're not gonna send you a piece of paper, but this just helps me get everything really customized, broken down, get it on paper. That way I truly understand my client's needs and I can go in and really build the best plan for them and some obviously have more extensive needs than others depending on the plan they sign up for as you can see here but yeah I do handwrite everything out guys so no cookie cutter BS here I do not believe in that so yeah basically in a nutshell that's how I make money that's how I support myself and that is how I generate an income so I don't try to be too sales pitchy in anything that I do but if any of you guys are interested in a customized meal plan you want online coaching with me I do have some packages available where we actually do video conferences and we check in my 12 week program has check-ins my ultimate plan we actually do video check-ins and we keep everything moving and you know you get my personal phone number but just a bunch of stuff really hands-on experience so uh, if you decide you know run to jamesfitness.com you can go sign up you don't have have to I'm not asking you to but if you are if it's something you're interested in you really want to get serious about this and you want a specific meal plan that tells you exactly what to eat or a training plan that tells you exactly what to work out with exercises videos full rep ranges everything um I'm your man so that's how I make an income another thing I wanted to do so uh if you're looking at my thumbnail right you're probably like what is he talking about so this right this is what you've seen in the thumbnail. This is my Canon T6i mounted shotgun Rode microphone, right? But you're probably like, wait a minute, if you're holding this, what are you filming on right now? So I bought this camera when I started YouTube, right? And it's a nice camera, works really well. Everything on it's been good, but it was just harder like vlogging with this thing, just not easy. Look how, look how big that is, especially when you got the mounted microphone on it. If you don't have that mic on it, you might as well just be talking through seashells, conch shells. I don't know, does that, does that really even make sense? But <laughs> it's just sound, it just sounds awful, super tinny and not good. This big cumbersome thing is just a, a bear to carry around and shoot with. I used to prefer, you know, using this and I would have like when I first got Jared to start working with me, he would try to use this and the lenses and the requirements of the autofocus and everything. This was just such a pain in the butt and this was an expensive camera. So I don't even use this anymore. I use a little handheld vlogging point and shoot guy. Maybe I can do, if you want to see the camera I'm using that, why not? Right? So that's old camera. Let me show you the new camera. I'm going to film on my cell phone, right? So if the quality changes, I apologize, we're gonna make this quick. I'm gonna show you what I shoot with right now, so. Bingo. All right, we were on the cell phone. Actually, really good quality here. So, ah, now, old camera. This is what I film with right now. It's a little handheld guy, Sony RX100 Mark IV. Really nice camera here. Shoots in 4K. I don't actually broadcast in 4K because it requires a uh, ton of space and a monster computer to edit. But let me show you what's really cool about this camera though, right? Well, I got this handle here so I can, you know, hold it out, vlog with it, whatever we got to do. But what makes this camera cool for what I do is the screen flips up. Well, how's that? That's like Inception right there. That's like Inception. But you can really see like, you know, if we're, oh man, <laughs> that's so, so weird to do this, but yeah. You know, wherever you go, you can kind of just see what's up. Perfect for vlogging, guys. Perfect. So, Sony RX100 Mark IV, a great camera. Great camera. We're gonna switch back. And for those of you that care, my cell phone is an iPhone 6S Plus. So that's that video quality came from that phone. So that's another thing. If you want to start YouTubing or you want to start making videos, whatever, you don't have to have the greatest equipment, guys. This thing shoots awesome videos. And there's times when I don't have my camera on me, I will shoot videos with this, throw them into my edits, and you guys probably don't even know the difference. So you don't need a ton of stuff to start. That's one of those things everybody's like, I have people that tell me, I want to start YouTubing, but oh man, I don't have the money for a camera. I don't have the money for this. I don't I don't have this, I don't have this. And that is the biggest limiting factor for a lot of people is thinking they don't have enough. You can start with what you have and make something because no matter what that experience you get, the learning you're gonna get from editing the videos, from even just being behind the camera and talking to it, that experience is priceless. So you start with what you have, make it work, and then as you go, I started with you know some minor, like really crappy stuff. I had to borrow cameras for my first 
videos and you know as I got better we upgraded so anyways anyways guys the goal that I want to accomplish is this camera I'm using the Sony RX100 Mark IV the Mark V just came out I want to buy the Mark V and that way I'll have this Mark IV and I'll have the new Mark V and I will be able to if I need to have two cameras going if I go do an event or something like that I mean make one the picture camera make one the vlogging camera so that's what I'm doing right now so I'm gonna show you guys I'm about to part this thing out and sell it I'm gonna show you kind of what I'm doing with that but that's the goal moving forward and then I just upgraded I just ordered a 128 gig class 10 SD card and what that's gonna do for me is hopefully allow me to take advantage of the 4k shooting abilities of this camera and make some really high quality stuff but these cameras aren't really meant to shoot 4k for long periods of time I think they overheat at least that's what I've heard I haven't tried it yet so that card should hopefully be in the mail today to where I can really start hammering out some way better quality footage so I'm working on setting my quality up because obviously this YouTube channel is one of the most important things in my life right now and I really want to just keep this growing and just keep you know pushing forward and getting better no complacency here you should never be complacent you should never settle for what you have you should always be striving to improve no matter what area that is with your job with your family with your relationships whatever you should always be striving to improve another thing too right now I do all my editing on a I have a MacBook Pro right and I HDMI it out let me just show you why not while while we're on the topic for those of you that even care you're probably like what is this this isn't a tech show this is a uh, this is a fitness thing but anyways uh, for those of you that care I have a MacBook Pro I got it last year and it's a pretty powerful one um, put a decent amount of money into it but it's not as powerful as a rig that I need to edit 4k footage with so I'm gonna have to upgrade this obviously a, a external hard drive here that we put all the old videos on in case something were to happen to the channel got everything backed up here be a MacBook Pro and I HDMI it out to this monitor and I sit here and this is how I do all my stuff so I need to upgrade this in order to really start handling 4k footage so new computer incoming I believe and that's the thing too it's easy to like do stuff and make a little bit of money and be like you know what I'm just gonna go buy a new pair of shoes I'm gonna go buy a new car I'm gonna do this but I'm a firm believer if you are working on your passion you reinvest any money you make back into just growing your business growing your brand so that's what I'm gonna do you I'm telling I don't buy like new stuff I don't buy new shirts I don't buy new clothes like I got a new pair of shoes not too long ago and it was a birthday present like I'm wearing this old ratty thing I got from the Arnold Classic like a year ago, you know, and it's I, I I could I could go buy new stuff, but I don't feel like that is the priority right now. My priority is my business. My priority is YouTube. My priority is you guys and keeping you guys happy. So a little update on the technical uh, aspects of what I do. So let's go ship some stuff. All right, guys, quick look at what we're shipping out here today. So Deus Ex Mankind Divided, we are shipping out, which is the game I just beat. And then we are shipping out this lens too. So the way that I'm doing things, oh, by the way, check this out. So this lens could screw onto that other camera I was just showing you and uh, do lensy, shooty stuff with it. Like I said, I don't like messing with this stuff. I'd rather just have my camera here, turn it on, know that it's gonna work and record. Be done, don't worry about swapping lenses for different scenes and transitions, maybe in the future, but right now, eh, we good. So you're probably like, why are you selling this game. I just bought this game, Watch Dogs 2, right? By the way, good game right here. I'm playing it. Um, super cool vibe. Uh, for those of you that care, you're probably like, why is he talking about video games? It's a fitness channel. This is my life, guys. And I'm giving you just a little inside look at like what I do to de-stress and blow off some steam. So Watch Dogs 2, good game, but I just bought this one. This is how I justify my purchases. So to put it into perspective for you guys, right? Basically what I do when I buy a game, if I do buy a game brand new, like right when a game comes out, I'll go buy it. I can play it. I can beat it, but I don't have the time to sit like my, the way I want to spend my time with gaming right I don't have the time to just sit and play games over and over again like I kind of want to get in there beat a game be done with it right the older me would have this massive game collection of games that would just be like sitting on the shelf that I would never play I tell myself maybe I'll go back to it one day and I never did and I don't have the time really I want to have new experiences fresh experiences so what I do is I'll buy a game and then once I beat it put it on eBay and I resell it get some money back that goes into the next game that way I'm not just dropping $60 on every new game and like if you have a business or you have like a passion or something you want to run you got to be able to save money that is a huge thing especially if you want a loan from a bank they want to be able to see that you can save money and if you're out and you're just blowing money on all these hobbies and stuff you're not saving it so what I'll do sometimes like if it's a game like Watch Dogs I went and bought yesterday just full price 60 bucks very rare that I do that unless it's a game that I really want to play um, but yesterday I had like a little de-stress day didn't post a YouTube video didn't shoot any videos I kind of just chilled out and relaxed I needed it sometimes you need those rest days guys I went like 10 videos 10 days in a row something like that 
editing, grinding, shooting, filming, and it just took a toll. So I told myself yesterday, gonna enjoy myself and relax. So I went and treated myself a little bit and bought that game. But typically what I'll do is I will wait, let's say a game's out, and this works with Blu-rays, this works with like anything you want. So don't think it's just a video game thing. But I'll wait a little bit, let it be out for like a week or so, and typically people that have already beaten them are doing what I did. They went and bought it and they're reselling it on eBay. You can buy yourself a brand new copy. Like I have Titanfall 2, a new Xbox game. That should be here hopefully this week, maybe early next. But that game only cost me $42. If I go to a store, 60 plus tax, we got about $64 in there. So I'll buy it, I'll get it for 42. I can beat it and probably by the time I'm done with it, sell it for 35, 34. I played a brand new game and beat it and it only cost me six or seven dollars. Little, little, little tip there I wanna give you guys. You don't have to do that, but that's how I recoup my money, reinvest in my hobbies, and I don't feel so bad about it. So little tip there, you guys can do that. So I'm gonna get this stuff packaged and shipped. So let's get started on it. So there we go, we got our lens all bubble wrapped up. We're gonna put it in here, but sadly, I don't really ship stuff this size. So the boxes I have are more for hats and apparel. So like, what we're gonna have to do so that's just not bouncing around in there. I have this like old Manila, Manila, vanilla, Manila, what, what, vanilla bubble scotch mailer. I'm not sure if I'm using the right words, but uh, we're gonna just kind of jam that down here in the box. That way it's not gonna bounce around. So improvising people. This is what Remington James Fitness is all about. Improvising. <laughs> not too difficult guys. You just gotta make sure your boxes are taped. Everything's secure, nothing's bouncing around. Pretty easy, a lot of people overcomplicate this stuff. It doesn't have to be, you can ship whatever, see? Now this is good to go. Without being in there, you can't really hear any banging. So, that's good. Now I just gotta print my shipping label, tape it to it, and all I gotta do is drop this thing off at the post office. What we're gonna do is we'll also weigh it out too. That's the thing, you can buy your postage online and you can attach and print your shipping labels all through USPS.com. You just gotta weigh your stuff out and it literally like, that's all you need. So a standard food scale works. Now, this is gonna be way easier to ship because all it takes is a little bubble mailer like this. Quick little demonstration here, super easy to do. Open up, slide the game in, peel off the sticky, fold over, and bow. So, game's all in here, literally. It is that easy and you can just buy, like with the online infrastructure, the way it is right now, the way everything works in this world, you can sell stuff. If you have stuff laying around, sell it. If you're not using it, use that money, put it towards your passion, put it towards something else. So like I said, I beat this game. I was probably zero chance I'm gonna play it again. We're gonna sell it. Old Blu-rays, whatever. You don't have to, you know, if it's something you're not gonna revisit, it's not like a passion project or something you put a lot of time into, you can make a little money off of it. So, that's what we're doing. So now we have our lens, our game, and we're gonna print the shipping labels off and get these guys out. That easy guys, print out your shipping label, affix it to your package, you're good to go. Here we go, so I'm not gonna show you the labels just because I don't wanna violate anybody's privacy, but you can see we got late shipping labels on both of these, yep, and all I did was print them, taped them to them, and good to go. Now, this big box, right, shipping was like $3, $3.20, and then for the game, $2.50. It's never been cheaper to ship stuff, so don't let shipping costs and stuff like that hold you back, especially if you use like a, a service like eBay, which is what I use 8sun to resell stuff, um, if you're using a service like that, literally, like let's say someone pays you $30 for a game. eBay lets you print your shipping label. It'll take the $2.60 out of the 30 you already made. So you literally don't have any money coming out. Money drops in your account, boom, good to go. So it is that easy, guys. It is that easy. And by the way, too, regarding video games, I've had a lot of people uh, when I post or talk about video games, they tend to like it. If you are of the type that you might like a video game YouTube channel, I thought about doing it in my free time. Like I would never let anything take away from this fitness channel, but maybe here and there upload a cool Let's Play video or something like that. But I would call the channel Remington Games. Get it? Get it? <laughs> You better get it. I mean, it's kind of obvious, right? So Remington Games, and I think it'd be a cool twist. So if you'd like to see something like that, comment below, I will see what I can do. I have a couple videos, video game videos I've made already. They're just sitting there. I wasn't gonna upload them to this channel. So if that's something you'd like to see, comment below. Remington Games, it's got a nice ring to it, doesn't it? All right, guys, it is kitchen time. Man, it feels weird leaning down here like this. I feel like the lighting's bad because like this hat's on and there's no, sh that's one thing too about being a hat wearing dude. I just, the lighting, man, it always casts a shadow on my face. But what 
you gonna do? Real quick, I told you guys we would do a BCAA Optima taste test in the next video. So we're gonna go ahead, gallon of water here. We're gonna fill it up for the day. By the way, you guys know, uh, for new subscribers, I'm adding a ton by the way. So if I seem to rehash stuff from older videos, I apologize. Just, I'd want, I'd, I'd like to spread the knowledge, spread the wealth. And look at this. This is a nice angle, right? Man, quality angles on this channel, guys. Quality filming, viewing angles. I always like to get a jug. Use my little funnel here and fill it up. Let's see if I can't raise this. There we go, that's a little better. So you get my funnel, get my jug for the day. This ensures I'm getting my water in. I'm always drinking branch chain aminos because I fast a lot, helps with my fasting, but also too, it just flavors this water. So I don't have to worry about drinking just plain water all the time because I despise that. Three scoops should do us, pretty big scoops here. So let's see how she tastes. Give her the old shake. All right guys, taste test, you ready? Okay, that aftertaste is terrible. For flavor, at least the green apple flavor, not good. Don't recommend it. If flavor is your ultimate choice, it's got, thing about this is they say seven grams of, wait, hold on, 12 grams. There's 12 grams of branch chain aminos per serving, which is a the most I've ever gotten out of a brand. Let me make sure you see this brand again in better lighting. BCAA Optima by NutriKey. They advertise 12 grams of branch chain aminos per serving. That is a ton of branch chain. So you're definitely getting your branch chain aminos with this product. I don't know if that's why the taste is so meh or not, but I had to do a quick little review mid vlog. Three out of 10, three out of 10. Now I gotta go to the post office and then who knows, right? Still pretty early and I feel like I filmed a ton of content already. What? And it's gonna be another 30 minute vlog if I'm not careful. <laughs> oh man, some of you guys love them, some of you hate them. I don't get it. I can upload like a 14 minute video. It'll get like 6,000 views like right away, but I can upload like a 30 minute guy and those of you that watch those love them, but then a lot of people, they're like 30 minutes. I ain't got time for that. <laughs> so we might try to make this one a little shorter. We'll see how the uh, chips fall, I guess. <laughs> All right, guys, getting ready to go to the post office, and I just got a message from a client, right? And I felt like I kind of wanted to share it with you guys. So, it's because it's stuff like this that motivates me, keeps me going, keeps me doing what I do. This isn't always the easy, I mean, it may seem easy thinking, got this camera, you just make some videos and stuff, but it's a lot more work than people think. So, <laughs> let me just show you this message real quick, right? Now, keep in mind, keep in mind, this is one of my clients that we've been working together now for, man, it's been for 10 maybe five months, six months. We've been working together for a while and her before and afters are absolutely incredible. I think she's lost over 50 pounds. She looks great. She wants to compete now. We've been working together for a while. Awesome client, probably one of the best clients I've ever had to be completely honest. As far as just kicking butt, listening to what I say, not questioning anything, getting the workouts in, getting the meal planned in. Enough, I'm rambling, I tend to ramble, but basically the message on my Facebook here I got this morning. I just wanted to take a second and say thank you for what you do. You're changing so many people's lives and you're making such a difference. I went shopping yesterday and a medium sized shirt was for the first time in my life ever too big for me. I may have cried a little. This is such an emotional thing for me. I have never been this size my entire life. Besides when I got sick in high school. I'm not kidding. When I say you've saved my life because you did exactly that. I can't even put into words how much I appreciate all your hard work and dedication to your clients. It shows that this is your passion. Anyways, I'm back to 154 and I feel fantastic. I'm tired some days. I don't know what was going on. A little rough patch mentally and physically, but I feel as great as ever. Thank you again. Looking forward to the next leg of the program. Thank you so much, Amanda. I appreciate those words. I really, really do. So yeah, guys, that's the thing. When you really take charge of this lifestyle, right? And you commit to more than just a day on here where I eat good and a day off here and you know, da da da. Like when you really commit to it and you really make this your livelihood and you make this your passion, you can see true transformation, guys. I didn't know what it was like to be happy for a good part of my life. And that is me being completely honest. That is not me sitting here trying to sell you on something that is not me sitting here BSing you just because it's a video. That is a hundred percent real. I was not a happy person for a good part of my life. Life. I was depressed. I had anxiety problems and I still deal with self-esteem issues to this day. Don't get me wrong. Just the eating better, the looking better, the feeling better. It has done wonders for me. Instead of just sitting there eating my Cheetos and drinking my Mountain Dew and just ordering pizzas and like not taking care of my health. Instead of that, embracing this lifestyle that isn't always the most fun. And sometimes it's inconvenient and sometimes you feel like crap when you don't give it a hundred percent. But I would not trade the incredible feelings of self-satisfaction and self-love that I have now for anything. I would not change that. I'm glad that I can help people like Amanda realize that too. So this is more than just going to the gym a few times a week. This is more than just eating one clean meal every now and again. This is a lifestyle. And if you embrace that lifestyle, I promise your life will get exponentially better. This is so completely worth it. And it may be hard to see that in the immediate. It may be hard to see that right away, but it is something that pays dividends in the long run. Once you take those steps, right? You take one or two steps every single day. Eventually those steps add up and six months from now, a year from 
now, you'll look back and you'll see just how far you've come. And it is an amazing thing. I look back at old pictures, even from a year ago, and I see my transformation to now, and I am just absolutely amazed that this is, that people are not doing exactly what I'm doing every day. That's one thing, guys. This is a uh, lifestyle, not a quick fix. So you live it, you learn it. Nothing in this life is handed to you for free. You gotta earn everything you have. And if you want a good body and you wanna be healthy, you gotta work for it. So thank you once again, Amanda. I appreciate it. We are off to the post office. Keys. Ah, there we go. Packages. Post office. I don't know if you're allowed to film in here, are you? Thank you. Hey, you too. Ugh, such a boring place, but a necessity. Uh, you'd think the government would allow them to play music in there, but there's never music in there. Go figure. All right, back from the post office, getting ready to break my fast with meal number one. Nothing crazy here. The usual, you guys have been watching me in a few vlogs now, I like eggs. I eat a lot of eggs, high in protein, high in healthy fats, good to go. Six eggs here, right? And I have some seasonings in here. But let me show you how I'm going to spice in it up. So obviously, I mean, that might not look good to you if you don't like eggs, but wonderful to me, a little bit of coconut oil in there really helps. You guys remember this? I do, I do. <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna give this a try on here. I love regular Parmesan cheese. I'm sure this is gonna be pretty good. Like I said before, the macros aren't terrible, so just don't go crazy with it, but put enough on there to add some good flavor. All right, that'll be more than enough for us. Mmm, check that out. How beautiful does that look, guys? Don't be jealous. <laughs> don't be jealous. Taste test incoming. All right, guys, taste test time. Make sure we get a nice bite with that cheese on there. <laughs> For real guys, this is where it's at. Try this right now. Try it next time on your eggs. Or on whatever, but specifically on your eggs. <laughs> Give this a try. Game changer right here. Game changer. <laughs> All right, guys, getting ready to go to the gym. I think I'm gonna kind of wind this vlog down now. It's, uh, I've been filming since 5.30 this morning, so that's um something, right? <laughs> so it is like, it's like almost 11 o'clock in the a.m., but if I continue to vlog the rest of the day, I've already shot so much stuff, and I feel like there's a lot of value already in here. If I continue to vlog, it's gonna be another 40 minute vlog, and some of you don't want that, some of you do. Uh, comment below, what do you like? The medium, like, are they easier to watch when there's shorter videos, like 10, 11, 12 minutes? Do you like the 40 minute guys that are just like, I mean, those are commitments. <laughs> Those are commitments. Some of you guys treat my videos like your relationships. You just ain't committing to them. <laughs> and some of them are in the middle, like 20 minutes. So comment below what your ideal length is. But I was getting ready to go to the gym. I'm trying to pick out a shirt to wear. I know, right? I'm that guy. Which shirt matches these pants? You know what I mean? I, I am that guy, guys. I apologize. I'm that guy. I, I figured I'd never shown you guys one of my tattoos. Check that out, right? That is a Polynesian tribal. Basically, if you pay it close attention, it documents the rise and fall of the Incan Empire through the golden era. And the, I'm kidding, guys. It was, it was a design out of a book. <laughs> All right, so I need to figure out what I'm wearing. Um, I'm meeting a buddy at the gym, and I would normally vlog it and get some workout content in this vlog. But the last three times we lifted together, I've had him film me, and I'm like, dude, this time we'll just actually get a lift in. You don't gotta film me, no camera. Plus, I've had work. You guys wanted more workout stuff. I've been putting it in my vlogs. So if you like that stuff, comment. Let me know what you'd like to see. Different stuff of in my vlogs. I always try to throw something nutritional in there. I try to throw a little something motivational in there. I don't know. I, I try I try to make these towards not just me like walking around my house like. <laughs> You know what I mean? I try to make it a little more valuable than that. So anyways, we're cutting this vlog short. So thank you so much for watching. Appreciate the support. Hit that like button. If you like my video, hit that like button. That helps me out a lot. Let's me know. Let's me know you made it this far and I captivated you up until now. So if you were along for this whole ride, thank you. And uh, yeah, appreciate you guys so much. Don't forget to pay someone a compliment. Don't forget to smile. Don't forget to work on your goals every single day. You guys have a good one. I will talk to you later and I will see you at the next vlog. See you guys.